Dear Micah Parsons, fish here. Let me say this before I shush you. Uh, boy, you are a maybe a generational talent. You have elevated the Cowboys uh, to a different level with your talent and not to mention your charisma, leadership, a lot of stuff, a lot of good stuff. Uh, you've also never done me wrong from the very first day you walked into the building at the star. And I appreciate that. Now I'm going to do a favor for you. Shh. The Cowboys eliminated from the NFL playoffs, 19 to 12, uh, I was there. I had the privilege of being there at Levi Stadium on Sunday evening. And, hey, that's the end. That's the end of the Cowboys' train. The 49ers get to move on, and you don't. But somehow, the Micah Parsons competition with the 49ers continues on. What? How? On social media. Wonk, wonk. The uh, Cowboys linebacker, Micah, and the 49ers wideout Debo Samuel decided to take their on-field battle to social media. Samuel, completely within his right, poked fun at Parsons for having famously stated, this is the opponent that I wanted. We're going to cut off their head. We're going we, to we're gonna show them. This will be a story that we could tell. We're, all the mic could talk. Quote machine. And I love it, kind of. I mean, I love it as somebody that needs content to talk about and write about. And I love the entertainment value. I think in terms of trying to run my football team, it's a little much before the game. And we talk about how does bulletin board material, what does it really do once the kickoff happens? Does it accomplish something because it inspires me to hit the weight room on Wednesday harder than I would have because I, I can hear you yapping at me? Do I get to embarrass you back after the game when I won? The answer to that one's yes. So Micah says, we want the 49ers before the game. So after the game, Debo Samuels goes on Instagram and says, puts up a picture of Micah and says, don't poke the bear. Debo's right. That's the end. Scoreboard. But Micah won't let it be the end. Micah goes into the comment section of Debo's Instagram and writes, LOL, what did you do today, fam? LOL calling out Debo Samuel for what he perceived to be a lack of production during the 49ers win. <clears throat> we can go through the official numbers if you care, but they're not the point. Samuel finished the game, four catches, 45 yards. I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> that's that's uh, That would have made him the second most productive cowboy on offense with four carries for 11 yards. Right? Outside of outside of CeeDee Lamb, what Cowboy player on offense did better than that? But Mike is right. I mean, that was he was just another guy on this particular day in a 49ers win. But he still got four catches, 45 yards, and four carries for 11 yards. He might have had more had they needed him. Or we can give the Cowboys credit because they did contain him. And that is part of what Micah is saying here in another comment. He says, we, you know, we, we give up 19 points. We got to win that game. Uh, we, we, we managed to control as best a team would dream of. Debo did the same thing with Christian McCaffrey. And it's true. Micah, those, you did do those two things. But there's one thing you didn't do. You didn't not lose. You lost. So Debo's not bragging about his stats. He's saying, he's not bragging about his individual stats. He's saying, don't poke our team, the bear. 
and he won. And I don't know, is this old fashioned? To the victor go the spoils? The winner gets bragging rights? Micah, the loser doesn't get bragging rights. That's not how it works. You didn't earn anything. You lost the game. 49ers advance to the NFC Championship game against the Eagles. And I'm wondering if you're wondering what I'm wondering. Why is Micah talking trash after a loss? Now, again, I'm old fashioned, not to mention just old. So I kind of like it when you don't talk trash after a win either. Just go, go shake the guy's hand and let's go have a beer and some orange slices together, if, if possible. But I'm not talking trash after a loss. Micah begrudgingly ends his comments by offering credit to the winning team saying, but congrats on the win. Okay, good. Well, that's good. So that can be the end. Oh, no, he had to type one more sentence. But don't put me in this weak-ass slide, meaning don't put me in this picture. Leave me out of it. But Micah, you, you put yourself in the picture by talking all week about how you were going to cut off the 49ers' head and how much you wanted to play. You were looking forward to This is the matchup you wanted. The Cowboys have now not been to a conference championship game since, as you know, the 1995 season. And what's sad about this is, once again, the Dallas Cowboys, in this case, led by Micah Parsons, are left to wage war against their opponents, not on the field, but on Instagram. Shh, Micah. Fish out.